Hello everyone, welcome back to our hard difficulty time attack mode here in Shadow of the Colossus. This is number 13. This is another fun one. I tend to like the flying encounters quite a bit in this game. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, as soon as the encounter starts, I'm not even gonna jump on the horse yet. I'm gonna whip out the bow, and I'm gonna shoot it three times. Once at its head, you gotta shoot those white sacks, and you really gotta lead your arrows. And then once between the two set of sacks, and then between that set of sacks, I'm actually gonna get all three of them. Uh, I was a little lucky on that, I guess. And once you've destroyed all three of those, he will drop his wings, and you need to get to the front of him to climb up. Now, if you don't destroy those those sacks that are under them, and most likely you won't, you're just going to have to get on your horse and shoot while riding the horse. I find that I'm much better at aiming and shooting when I'm on the ground. So I'm really happy that I got all three sacks. Now, you can do all this uh, in one phase. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for me in this encounter, but I am going to finish this with over four minutes left from the goal, so not too difficult. We gotta get up next to it and jump to the wing. It's a little tricky to get it because uh, your two objects are moving and you're trying to jump to a moving object. So you can easily uh, miss the jump here. Now you wanna try to get up high, at least halfway, but at some point he is gonna lift his wings and I'm kinda stuck here on the edge. Once he lifts his wings, I can just run across. Now here's a, a big tip for you guys. Don't destroy the uh, sigils. If you destroy a sigil, he'll start doing barrel rolls and turning upside down, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, to do this. But the idea is to just damage it enough, but you don't destroy it. Now, I did not do enough damage on that one. That's going to kind of come back to haunt me in a little bit, and you'll see in just a moment. But I don't want to destroy it. I could have done another half stab on that first one, and we could have done this in a, in a single phase, which would have been nice. There we go. Did enough damage on that one. And now because he's not doing his barrel rolls, it's really easy to run back uh, further back. So you can hit all three of these sigils pretty easily. You can actually kind of jump in because he's moving the opposite direction. You can get some real good distance and speed on your jumps to get back here real quick. Now you want to destroy the third one. If you've done enough damage on the first two without destroying them, uh, you can actually end the encounter here. But I didn't do enough damage on the front one, so we're going to do another cycle of this. Not a big deal. So as you can see, we have just a little bit of health left. Definitely left some on that first one. So now what's going to happen is he's going to go burrow himself back underground. All of these things are going to close up. I'm not going to have enough time to get up front. So when he burrows himself underground, he is going to uh, reappear with those uh, white sacks underneath him again, and we're going to have to shoot him. This time we're going to do it from the horse. And there they go. You can see the uh, phase ended there. And we're going to make our way back down to aggro here in just a second. Part of the reason I like these flying encounters is just because it really gives you a big sense of, of danger. Of being high up in the air there. There's a little bit more at stake. It's a little bit more frightening, especially for me because I'm afraid of heights. So of course we knocked ourselves out and aggro up there got knocked out too. Alright, it's going to be a little bit before he reappears, but you do have to try to target him and track him. He will be flying around this area once more. Just keep running. Again, you're going to have to shoot and uh, ride at the same time. So if you get up to speed and then take out your bow and start aiming with your bow, Agro will keep his speed and momentum going. He will also steer himself as best he can. However, you can still uh, steer yourself, and you're going to need to if you want to uh, get a good shot on these, uh, these sacks. Oh, there he is. Again, you have to really lead your shots. The arrow travels pretty slowly. but you can always get up behind him and uh, it makes uh, targeting him a little bit easier. But you can waste a lot of time trying to target these if you're not careful. 
And once you start seeing the uh, black smoke coming out of them, you know you've got it. Of course, make sure you charge up your arrows. If you don't charge it up, it's not going to go very far. All right, there we go. We've de uh, destroyed the last set, so he's going to drop his wings. I'm going to kind of do a nice little fail here for you guys. Oops, missed it. All right, so try to anticipate his movements. He does kind of weave left and right. That'll help you uh, catch up quicker. All right, so let's line up a jump here. Let's try to, let's not uh, fail this time. Perfect. So once you jump onto the wing, you always want to try to get up as high as you can right off the bat because you might run across a, a sand dune that comes up and it'll actually knock you off. Now this is gonna be real easy. We just need to do one, uh, one good stab on that one target up front here. And down he goes. So that's it. I mean, you have plenty of time. Four minutes was left on the clock here for me. And if you manage to do this in one phase, you can definitely do this in just a few minutes. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button for more great Shadow of the Colossus content. And I will see you soon.